session that was you know the best way to say fuck you to freshers flu is to go in the gym take some pre-workout and have a fucking sick session setting pbs on shoulder press pbs on bent over row everything guys that was fucking awesome so hopefully you guys enjoyed that mix there now let's actually go back in time to the part where we actually started the video i just wanted to start the video off with that mix anyway enough talking let's go back to the past What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. We are starting it off with my staple meal that was all throughout my cut and that is simply a tin of beans, a tin of tuna and a packet rice. Alongside that I'm going to have an apple so that's going to add a few more carbs because I'm actually training, I've been ill, I've been sick as fuck. If you've been on my Instagram you know that I've been feeling like crap lately. So we're going to go for my first training session back for like two or three days now. I wanted a good meal in before I get in there. So let's get into today's video. Uh, mm. Right, so I have about 10, 15 minutes or so just to package up some more of these because some more orders have come in. And so don't worry guys, by the time that this video comes out, most of you, if you ordered on launch day, your packages probably will have reached you by now, but if you have ordered like a couple of days afterwards or something like that, then they will be with you as soon as possible. I'm getting on it right now. As I'm sure you guys know, and it says on the website as well, I am just one guy. I mean, there's a whole team of people who help me get to where I am, but in terms of packaging this and sending it out and all the labor and everything like that, it's just me, so I do get them out as quickly as possible. Like I say, guys, I'm gonna do a couple more of these and then get them sent out to you guys. Don't worry, your packages are on the way. And then I'm waiting for a call from my friends over at Lean Active to discuss the new products, possible account takeovers and unboxing videos and stuff like that just to give you guys even more sick ass content. Don't forget the discount code, 10 Liam. Their link is in the description box as well as the lsjfitness.com website, guys. So check that out. I'm gonna get on with this. I'm not gonna record anything. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello? Hi. Is that the plan at the minute then, Monday? With all the new products and everything coming out and all of the, you know, the new branding, the new packaging and everything like that, Instagram story and stuff like that, because I know, all right, speak to you soon. Cheers, bye. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is exciting. There's so much cool stuff coming. We just had a chat about new products, new packaging and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to go on about it too much, but I'm kind of, I, I, I'm buzzing about it, right? Okay, I'm buzzing about this stuff and I'm buzzing about lean stuff, buzzing about everything to come, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming along with the journey. I'm hyped up and ready to go to the gym now. I'm gonna take some lean pre-workout to celebrate. Let's go. Okay, so this is future Liam talking. If you remember at the start of the video, I actually said that we were gonna go to the gym. That footage was then put at the start of the video, so here I am again in the future but just a couple of hours later. So I'm all kitted out in my new emblem hoodie, emblem hat, as you can see behind me, there is plenty in stock, so check out the website down below. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna head to Goose Fair, it's just a massive fair that's probably about two minutes down the road, if you know, you know. So it looks awesome at night with loads of lights and loads of people and just good vibes all around. So I can't wait to get some awesome footage and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> Right, hopefully 
hopefully you guys did enjoy the vlog portion of this video. This is sort of the topic of this video and the sit down portion where it's just going to be me and you talking to the camera. First off, I know that I enjoy, and you guys probably know that I enjoy a drink just as much as the next person, but you guys are not alone in not wanting that to ruin your goals. And so, what I did, and this is going to be available if you do actually start online training with me when I do that in a couple of months time, but I prepared this sort of document, you're not going to really be able to see it there, it has a little acronym in it. And that acronym is five simple steps in how you can sort of minimize the effects and stay on track as much as possible while still having a good time, while still having a social life, enjoying yourself, right? So these five little steps are split up into a little acronym that I call TREAD. Step one, what you're gonna do is want to actually train. Train on the day that you're going to go out purely because you're probably not gonna be feeling too fresh the next day. So you're probably not gonna end up training then. So you don't wanna necessarily miss two sessions in a row. You wanna miss one or none if possible. So train on the day that you're actually going to go out and try and schedule your nights out around the training if you can. Next step two, you're gonna to want to reduce. That is reduce the calories throughout the day, preferably from carbs or fats. You want to keep hitting that protein intake regardless of whatever you're gonna do. Just make sure you hit that protein intake. So preferably reduce it from carbs, but not only reduce your calorie intake throughout the day, you can also reduce your calorie intake throughout the night as well. Sticking to beers and ciders and stuff, it's just full of empty calories that are gonna do nothing for you. It's not gonna help be training it's just going to fill you with a load of calories that aren't going to do anything for you so take it away from the carbs and fats and also you can have zero calorie mixes stick to spirits and zero calorie mixes because there's less calories there's something like 300 400 calories in one beer whereas there's 70 calories in a shot of vodka and zero calories in diet coke now i'm not trying to say that you should choose vodka and coke doing absolutely anything of course water is the best option obviously everybody knows that however you are having to pick the best of a bad bunch and sticking to spirits and zero calorie mixes is definitely the best of a bad bunch next up on the list is e and that stands for eat the reason i say this is because you should eat something satisfactory something that's going to keep you fulfilled and, and going to keep you full preferably something with lots of fiber something very filling that's going to keep you full throughout the night so you're not going to snack you're not going to binge on that chip shop at the end of the night because everybody knows that the kebab shop is a hell of a it's 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 a mad temptation that we all have been guilty of eating every now and then right but stay clear of it at all costs and another tip would just to be cook something tasty that you're going to look forward to getting back to something that you can just shove in the fridge and eat cold like I don't know something like for me that would be chicken and pasta or, or something just put, cover it in ketchup and that's good enough for me right that would save me going to the chip shop I've got one I've saved some money because I've not gone there and two I've saved a hell of a lot of calories because I'm not going to binge on that kebab now step four is a and that stands for appreciate now this is the probably the biggest one in my opinion just purely because it stands for appreciate and so all of these steps are to tell you to do things or not do things in order for you to stay on track, right? But the reality is our life's short, our time's short, especially if you're at university like me. I'm in my final year now, I'm going to be making the most of every second, having no regrets. And I want you guys to appreciate it, not think, oh no, I can't have that because it, will, it, will, it won't fit my macros. Like, you're going to have your entire life to build muscle, you're going to have your entire life to build strength. But you might only have one last time with a certain group of friends, one last time before something, some, anything could happen. So just appreciate the time that you have and just appreciate a good night at the end of the day. Last on the D to complete the trend acronym stands for damage control. Now the reason I say damage control, I'm kind of laughing because I do this a hell of a lot. I tell everybody, drink lots of water. You have done the damage, you've had the extra calories, you've had the alcohol, you've had the good time, right? There is a possibility that that could affect your goals. Let's be realistic, that there is a possibility. So what you, what have you got to do? Damage control. The way I like to do damage control is drink a hell of a lot of water because going back to the tea, training, you're not gonna want to skip the next day. And so if you have as much water as you possibly can, because alcohol dehydrates you, you have to rehydrate your body. And the mistake that I see people making over and over and over again is just going to bed. They come home, they're, they're drunk, they're smashed out of their minds, and they just crash on the bed right I make sure I drink probably at least two liters I would advise at least one but I would say I drink at least three or four cups of water so probably about one and a half two liters 
before I go to bed. And so that will help the damage control, that will help you feel not as bad the next day, and of course help you stick to your goals as a result of that as well. So they're just a few tips that I've picked up along the way. If you want me to go into even more detail, then let me know in the comment section down below. Send me a DM on any form of social media, guys, and I'll be sure to get back to you. So that's going to conclude this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the kind of separate like vlog portion, sit down portion. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. Your feedback is very very valuable to me and uh, I can't help but point out the few uh, hoodies that are over there so if you haven't yet ordered from lsjfitness.com that's my brand new website we launched the hoodies we've got joggers coming soon and the t-shirts coming very very soon as well so just had to get that in there it's a little shameless plug so thank you guys for watching today's video if you did enjoy it let me know by leaving a like comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel now we are back at university I'm looking forward to making so much sick content for you guys what I'm actually doing tonight is heading out so I'm gonna put this tread acronym into practice be sure to get on it guys and let me know what you think maybe it works maybe it doesn't I don't know it's just what I figured out along the way so thanks again for watching today's video guys as always remember no regrets I'll see you guys in the next video